In less than nine years, pretty much every device you own will be connected to the internet. But do we really need them to be? Right now, an average household consisting of two teenagers has about 10 internet connected devices in it. But would you believe in less than nine years, the number of devices will jump to about 50? Yeah. 50 things in your house will always be connected online by 2022. And we're already starting to see more and more internet connected gadgets invading our homes. In fact, at CES this year, one of the bigger trends was app enabled household appliances. Everything from refrigerators equipped with Evernote to washers and dryers that let you start and stop the machine from your phone. The most menial of tasks are being aided by the internet. Think about the house you live in now. Almost everything can be replaced by an internet connected device. That boring old thermostat on the wall? Replace it with a Nest. Want to turn the light on? Ah, uh, don't get up and flip the switch like a caveman. Use the Philips Hue. Feeling fat? Your scale is now connected to the internet. Suddenly hunched over, depressed about the scale, broadcasting your weight to everyone over Wi-Fi? The Lumoback will zap you from your phone to remind you to fix your posture. There's even a $6,400 toilet that uses a Bluetooth receiver to stream audio from your phone to the toilet. So now you can listen to the number one song in the country while dropping off at number two. But with all of this tech already invading our homes, some are worried about privacy. And with sites like Shodan already out there giving you access to internet connected devices, if stricter privacy safeguards aren't created for these gadgets, we could all be screwed. Do you really want your scale notifying your insurance company about your sudden weight gain, therefore making you an at-risk patient driving up your premiums? I don't. And call me old fashioned, but it's the little things like getting up to turn on a light or having to start and stop my washing machine that keep us all from turning into the gelatinous blobs from Wally. -E. What do you guys think? Does an always connected world excite or terrify you? Let me know in the comments below and keep sending in those videos for tech feedback this week. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. For TFN, I'm Scott Bromley saying we now live in a world where a toilet costs more than a Vespa. Thanks, technology. Oh, they're going down. Oh, they're going down. Oh, oh, but they're going back up because it's technology. Can't fight it. Ah.